Hey New York Red Bull fans, Seth Stamler here. Welcome to my humble abode here in Chicago. Yeah, so here we got my place um, here in Chicago, um, in downtown Chicago. We've got the kitchen here, uh, pretty simple. Um, and obviously kind of the living area, the TV and my desk where I do most of my work. Ever since I was at the University of Maryland, I realized, you know, if I had the opportunity to play professional soccer, you know, it might make sense to go back and get my MBA at some point before I make that transition into the business world. And about halfway through 2010, I realized that um, although I had a great seven years in New York um, and was really enjoying playing still, um, I thought it was time, you know, personally to kind of make that transition. And um, although I thought I could play for another year or two, um, you know, I thought it was best for me to kind of pull the plug um, rather than have the plug pulled on me. Yeah, as I look back on my seven years in New York and being a part of the Metro Stars and Red Bull, um, you know, I think it comes down you know, to the collective relationships that I've built. Um, you know, again, fans, coaches, the front office, and then for me, most importantly, it was with my teammates over the years. You know, having spent seven years there, I've, I've built some pretty strong relationships and people that I continue to keep in touch with and you know, plan to continue to do that. You know, I think that's one thing that's unique about New York is, you know, the fans and they're, you know, always cheering for us, always have our back, you know, win, lose, or draw. And especially for me, my first few years, um, you know, to see the passion that those diehard fans had and, you know, their willingness to kind of accept me as a player, even though I hadn't contributed on the field. Um, so I really got to know, you know, some of them very, very well over my first, you know, two years. And that obviously carried over to the last five years as well. Yeah, you know, another opportunity that was prov provided to me through both soccer and uh, the New York Red Bulls organization was my first trip to Haiti. Um, you know, I didn't, I didn't know what was going to come of that trip, but after six days, I was obviously inspired by the uh, strong will and determination of the Haitian people in general um, to do something more. And you know, I decided to found Sporting Chance Foundation in 2007 to provide education and clean water in Haiti. And uh, you know, it's been a great, just a great experience for me. So we're wrapping up our fourth year here. We've got uh, you know, about 60 educational scholarships each year to children in Port-au-Prince, and then have finished one community water well that sustained the January, uh, January 12, 2010 earthquake. And we've got four other wells that we've identified in City Soleil, which is the worst slum in Port-au-Prince. And then most recently, we're pretty excited about a community computer lab we're in the process of building, um, where we're gonna buy you know, 10 to 20 computers and then bring in our educational scholarship recipients um, for a couple hours each day to give them access to the internet. And then with that, we're gonna um, you know, implement an, an, more of an education program so they get to use a word processing program as well as you know, um, Excel and PowerPoint just so they have those tools. Yeah, so I'm wrapping up my third quarter here in Chicago at uh, University of Chicago Booth School of Business. Um, it's been a great first year. Um, I'm actually heading back to New York here in about uh, 14 days for an uh, internship. Um, for 10 weeks at Morgan Stanley, where I'll be doing sales and trading, which I'm really looking forward to. Again, that's you know predominantly why I decided to make the decision to retire from soccer to to go back and get my MBA. So um, you know, so far things have, are going as planned, and I'm excited to get back to the New York, New Jersey area. Great seven years in New York. Um, you know, probably the best seven years that I've had in my life. Hopefully, there's going to be better to come. As I look back, um, you know, I have no complaints, no regrets. You know, obviously my career kind of started off pretty slow and then the last five years, you know, was con contributing pretty frequently. I don't consider myself to be the best soccer player on the field or the most skillful, but um, I always try to go out there and play my heart out and, and realize, you know, make the fans happy. They're the ones that support us and allow us to do what we do um, on a weekly basis and, and play the game that we love. So, um, you know, thanks to them and, and thanks to New York for all the, uh, all the opportunities over the seven years and, and thanks to uh, my teammates as well.